Hey, people. It's me again. So, anyways, um, I got, like, a new light bulb for this lamp. So that's the whole reason why that one video of me, I was, like, vlogging in the bonus room. So, by the time you're going to see this video, it's, it's going to be the day before Thanksgiving, you know, as far as that goes. And I think for that, if I want to be thankful for this year, this point, and I think it's like what I am thankful for this year is having both J1 and J2 this point and then regardless of what the circumstance of the relationship with with either of them or both of them if I can have both of them that's what I ultimately want but if I had to settle on just one person and one person only it's J2 because out of all the years I known of him, I never thought that I could have this guy. And I don't want to get all emotional here. It's just that he's going through a whole lot, you know. It's not only that he lost his husband a year ago, but then he lost his roommate, who he had a friends with benefits kind of quite possibly even romantic I suppose you know and that roommate just died all of a sudden you know like three weeks ago and all and then just feel really sad about that and now it's like he's just you know going through intensive therapy and you know focus on his healing and all but mainly I had to kind of put him on the back burner you know for the past couple of months you know I didn't mean to like cause a rift there with J2 but mainly I just wanted to you know have him focus on his on his grief and healing and all that and the the sad part there when when he was on TikTok, you know, and he was crying his eyes out, and where he he thought that no guy would want him because he's weird and quirky and all, but I want him. I don't understand why I want him so much. You know, but it was just like that whole feeling was the thing there where I felt too much for him too soon. It was just not me to feel that way because I wanted to take my time to get to know them. You know, but it's one of the things I had said earlier in the month is that if you comes to the house sort of thing I I would give up all that random hookups give up all that if it means that I have G2 and if he wants to be the only guy that I, that I ever touch kiss and be held in his arms are holding, or me, or me holding him in his, in my arms and all that, and whatnot. Then so be it. Is I never felt this sort of strong feeling like that, you know. There was never really was me being crazy or anything. It was just me. You know, 
I wouldn't necessarily say that, but although I do love him in a platonic sense, but I'm, but not romantically just yet. But I want to love him romantically, you know. Want to give that guy my heart, you know, if he wanted it, you know. But it depends on how much or and how I mean, and then let alone how fast he wants it is another thing. Because I'm certain that he wants to give somebody his heart, you know, at this point. But, I mean, I'm in no rush for, to take his heart. You know, because as for all what I said earlier about it, is like, if it was both of them, if I could have both their hearts, then, you know, I can heal them, heal their hearts, but, but I also wanted to keep their hearts. You know, and that's kind of like the thing with, with J2, especially at that point, that I want to heal his heart, but I also want to keep his heart. You know? But I also want to give him my heart. You know? But my heart is, like, big enough that two guys could share. You know? If they both want to share, you know, two exact copies of my heart. Yeah, you know, or that sort of thing, but it depends on the situation. You know, plus it's just that, you know, almost a third of gay relationships are open poly of that sort, and in, in a way, I can, I can do monogamy, but it requires, you know, the guy to do a whole lot more with me in, in the bedroom and all that, you know, because I, you know, I want to do this, want to do that, want to do all these sort of things in the bedroom, I just can't really just, you know, just plop down like a dead fish and then have them, you know, do their thing and, and then come out and then be out, you know, I want to do all sorts of things. You know, whether it's role playing or or some other kind of other type of fetish that within the confines of consent. You know, that's one thing. Yeah. So, anyways, I guess that's probably it. So, talk to you guys later.